All right, so I was working on this trim ring. It's for French headlights on a 1953 Pontiac that I'm building. And I remembered a cool trick that my buddy Andy Carter showed me years ago. And it's how to make a pattern for any cone as long as it's a regular cone. So instead of using this, we use something a little bit smaller so it fits on the sheet of paper nicer. We're gonna go, I'm gonna try to pattern this funnel from the notch to the base, all right? It's pretty easy, a little bit of math, not too much. So the diameter of my top is 30 millimeters. The diameter of my base is 130 millimeters and the height is 90 millimeters. So what we do is I'm going to draw a center line. I'm going to draw a baseline square to that. I know my height is 90, so I want to measure to the full 90 millimeters on the height. Give a reference point. That's our top. Now this diameter was 30 millimeters, so I'm going to measure out 15 millimeters, half of that distance. I'll make a mark. The base, this was 130 millimeters. The base was 130 millimeters. So I'm going to go to 65. And I'll make a mark. Again, that's 15 millimeters. That's half of the 30. Millimeter top, this is 65 millimeters, half of 130 millimeter base. Then we connect the dots, and I project that all the way to my center line. Okay. This is your center point. Use that. Bring your compass till it lines up with the outside of your 15 millimeter mark and draw a circle. Bring the compass again from the center point till it intersects with, with the 65 millimeter mark. Make another circle. From here, I'm just going to cut it out. And then you cut out the inside circle. So I have a lot left over here. There's another calculation you can do to tell you the exact cut line on, the, on a radial. I'm not going to worry about that because it leaves you a little bit extra to fit with.
That was my overlapping line. I'm going to cut a little bit long to move it a little bit. That's it. Now if I was going to make this out of sheet metal, I'd test fit this pattern on whatever I'm working on, get it really dialed in, then I'd trace that back onto a piece of sheet metal, cut it out, roll it through the slip roller to get my exact curvature, and that would be it. Nothing to it. Let me know if you use this, if it works for you. If you have any questions, give me a shout in the comments. I'll see what I can do to help. But it's definitely one of my favorite sheet metal tricks. Um, you don't need it every day, but when you do need it, it's a huge help. Good luck.